Hello everyone, Sebastiano here of CodyHouse.co. Okay, so this is the first one of a series of videos where we explain how to use the CodyHouse framework. So we just released the framework, it's available on GitHub. And uh, yeah, we put a lot of effort into this and we hope you guys enjoy it. So the CodyHouse framework is a system of CSS globals which represent the base upon which you can build the style of your web project. And uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a one of a kind compared to other framework because it's, it's more minimal, it contains uh, less code, and it's based on the idea that you can use fewer, smarter controls to change the aesthetics of your web project. So if you're looking for the documentation, you can head over to codehouse.co slash ds slash get started. And uh, you will find here all the information you need to use the framework. For example, under globals, we have created a page for each one of the globals included in the framework. We also have a components section uh, where we share components uh, accessible responsive components uh, based on the framework itself. So you can go to this page, explore the components you need and uh, yeah, just copy the code and paste it into your web project. I just want to show you how you can get started real quick with the framework. So I've already downloaded the source files on GitHub. I'm going to uh, launch the terminal and uh, move into the framework. So first of all, the first time you need to run npm install. Once this is done, you can just run gulp watch and you are good to go. Okay, so if we take a look together at the source files, uh, you can see we have uh, inside the main folder, uh, the assets and, and CSS folder, we have the globals. Uh, each one of these files is, um, is about a specific aspect of your style. Okay, so if you want to include a component, for example, you could just create a new folder, call it components, and then I'm going to create another file, another SCSS file and uh, uh, inside the main style we're going to import the components as well. Now let's say for example that I need the I need the table component just like this one. So I'm going to copy the SCSS, go back to the framework, create a new file inside the components titled table.scss, paste the code here and save. Then inside the components file I'm going to import the the code of the table. Components table and here we go. Now if I go back to Cody House and I copy the HTML I can go back to the framework and inside the index file, we can just paste the code of the table. Now if I go uh, and I check this out, you can see the table is right here and the style is applied as well. Now just one final note, uh, this is really important, we have a script in the head of the index.html file and uh, this is a script used to add the JS class when JS is enabled uh, by the browser by the user. And um, this is really important because our components are based on the concept of progressive enhancement and therefore we use this class to uh, to provide additional styling when JS uh, is, when JavaScript is enabled. So make sure to include this uh, script in your uh, files as well. Also we have a utility uh, JavaScript file which includes the uh, utility functions used, used by the Cody House components, so shared by the components. So you want to make sure to include this one as well. Okay, so uh, that's all for this first video. I'll see you in the next one.